Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this stained glass piece of artwork using wax paper, tissue, and some glue. So if you're interested, keep watching. Hi, I'm Jeremy at the First Grade Cafe, and as you saw in the introduction, we will be making this adorable looking stained glass piece. And it looks way better when you have the light behind it and everything. It looks good. So let's go ahead and jump down into it. We're using wax paper, school glue, some kind of water. That's just an empty water bottle that I filled with plain water. And you'll need a paintbrush or something to apply the glue <laughs> water mixture and you'll need some kind of tissue paper. The best kind they say is the one that does not bleed. And so the ones I purchased from Hobby Lobby do not bleed very much. So we're gonna give those a try and see how that turns out. Um, these are some of the colors I have and then I have more colors which I'm gonna start cutting up some more so I can start doing some of my stuff. So let's go ahead and start cutting up some of my tissue paper. Okay, so what I did was I just cut out some simple strips of it that I can rip and put on. So I got some blues. There's like three different colors blue, three different color blues here. I got some pink, some white, and then in this one here I had some red, green, orange, and yellow. You can totally just rip them. Your students can either, or your child can either cut them or you can rip them. I'm just gonna rip them. We're gonna see how it turns out. The next thing you're gonna need to do, so I'm gonna set these to the side since I have all those ready. We need to get a piece of wax paper and I'm gonna do it to about that size. And so it's not gonna be very big. And so I'm gonna do mine so I can turn, fold it over like this. And then you have your wax piece. It's gonna be inside here. And then you can cu do cute little frames. I just don't have anything right now to do a cute little frame with, but I think I might be able to find something. The next thing you're going to need is your water glue mixture, or if you have liquid starch at home, or not starch, liquid, uh, yeah, liquid starch, sorry. If you have liquid starch at home, you could also do it with liquid starch. Ooh, uh, that was probably way too much water. I'm just gonna dump some back in here. All right, that's probably good. All right, let's get to this. Let's do some white first. You need to put down your glue mixture first onto your paper. So we'll do some white. So there we go. So I'm gonna fold this over now. And we're gonna smooth it out. So, and then this will dry. And then we should have like a kind of clear looking stained glass. Right, so as that dries, I thought I can kind of make a frame for it. I'm just trying to figure out how I want it to go. I think I'm gonna do it this way. And so I'll just trim off the parts that won't be needed. So I have this piece, you can use construction paper, or whatever you have at school or whatever you have at home. If you're doing it at home with your child, I just, I didn't have construction paper with me this time. So I do have this like craft paper cardstock. So I'm gonna fold that in half. 
having some issues focusing there it goes and then I'm just going to trace kind of a semi thick frame it's not like super thick but I don't want to get it too narrow and then I don't have a razor I don't have an exacto knife in front of me so and then I have to use this because as you can see, it has it's thick. It has to go through two. But if you have a kid, a student, or somebody, you're obviously not going to do this. And when you're doing this, if you're doing it at home and you're the one doing it, be super careful. There's that. Then, I need an eraser. So I'm gonna erase all of this part here. Then this will get sandwiched in between it when it's dry. So it'll be like that. So you're gonna cut right along those pieces. So what I'm going to do is kind of run a line right along there. look something like that I will need to get the pieces taped down inside but it's super cute a cute little frame for it thank you for watching I hope you guys liked what you saw if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already click the little bell notification get notified every single time I post follow me on all of my social media it's listed right down below and until next time please don't forget to always be you bye